Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just fish. Damn fresh you fish. Comers. Take as much as you need. It won't cost you a fish. Pen. Fresh fish. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password. I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. See you later. The sea protects. Thing's dead as a doornail, but I don't see any wounds. First it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. Still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. And there's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. It could be dangerous. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. This guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Poison the fish with an unknown substance. 
I made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay, this is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me courted. Look, nothing personal, Daryl, but I need to tell Anna the truth. Okay. All those people might suffer because I... because I... Do what you must, Mr. Reed. If it's that bad, maybe you should skip town, hide somewhere. You don't understand, Mr. Reed. You can't hide from your own conscience. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. What? Stop. Now. Uh, okay. See ya. May the sea protect you. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer, except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. There. May the sea... Take as much as you need. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> See, protect us. That's terrible. What kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know, but I aim to find out. What do you want? Fair. I'll what? You should hire a better guard. Now, re I found Excuse a d See you later. Welcome to, to, to the University of Oakmont. Uh, how can I help you? I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You, you, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. Sir, welcome to Oldmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. All right.
lab is certified creature free. I'll see These bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? <sighs> the door is much. I loved you. I always loved you. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. And the EODs in the center of all of it. I don't care what you're damning! George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I... You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! Okay, let's see what we have here. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. My you will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split.
So, have you made up your mind? I've thought about your proposition. Your methods stink, and your plan stinks. Still, the EOD is a threat, and I'm not gonna help them anymore. Oh. You're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet. much as you need. It won't cost you a penny. I've found your poisoner. Oh, see, bless you, Charlie. Well, that's the peculiar part. It's your ex-husband, George Cavendish. Oh. So that son of a rotten shark finally decided to show up. We'll find him. Then I'll have a word with him in person. Still, it's strange. I never thought he'd have the guts to do something like this. All right. No more messing around. Get me in touch with your Grand Poobah or whoever's in charge, now. Easy there, Charlie. I'm. You'll find an insmouther there by the name of Maurice. Tell him I've sent you. You'll get your answers. <sighs> About time. Mr. Reed. Do I know you, buddy? Not yet, but I know you. I also know you're looking for a particular lady. My name's Fred. You're looking for a professor, though. No, ain't that right? The scientist the order kidnapped. I think we can help each other. How do you mean? I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. 